Rockwell right here in Erie. Jackie Roberts spoke with members of our local Jewish community getting their reaction to this horrible shooting. Jackie? Sean, the news came as a shock to millions of people, but Jews locally say the devastation hits close to home. And they also tell us that they won't let it keep them down. Pittsburgh feels personal for members of the Jewish community in Erie. I was devastated. I mean, it, it felt like I was gut punched. I mean, honestly, I cried all morning. Mark Tannenbaum is one of many people still processing the devastation. So is Walter Harf, who fled Nazi Germany in 1937. He uses this artwork to explain discrimination against Jews dating back centuries. Abraham said, there is one God. Other people at that time said, no, that's wrong, and so that Jews were being persecuted because of what they believed. That hateful perspective making an appearance many times throughout history. But both Harf and Tannenbaum say they won't move forward in fear. Whenever there's a crisis, I think people have a tendency to pull together and find strength in numbers and strength in community. I think we'll see that. Harf believes it's not just Jews who are concerned. He says to expect people of many faiths to gather for support. Hatreds of some people, whether it's Jews, blacks, Asians, brown, white, shouldn't be tolerated. But unfortunately, it's a part of today's society. Former Governor Tom Ridge also responding to the shooting. His statement reads in part, I am so proud and grateful to be an American citizen, yet am concerned about the direction our leaders are taking us. We must demand more than simply condemning these actions with empty rhetoric. Back to you, Sean. Jackie Roberts in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Jackie.